Hi guys and girls on YouTube and welcome to my channel. Just a really quick video here this week because I'm still really busy and I'm struggling for time. Um, so somebody rings up and they said we've got a Samsung TV and we broke the aerial socket off the back. Uh, and, and straight away you're thinking well that's a simple job. You know I've, I've done hundreds of these in the past. That's no big deal. I've got new sockets in. Um, until the guy brings it in and then I find out it's the dreaded Samsung with a plastic back. You need a special tool to take the back off. Quite often the back breaks, a new back £60. But in this case, very, very carefully I managed to get the back off without, actually crack, without cracking it. So here's my box of replacement RF sockets. Uh, I'm sure you've seen these before. Single pin down the middle. Um, now these don't always fit every... Uh, different model but it didn't matter because the guy brought in uh, the one he's broke off on the set and then I realised there's something different about this if you look at it there there's actually two wires going to the aerial socket now I've measured them and if you look at that it's split down the middle like most of them are but in this one that's come out the telly one wire goes to the top, one wire goes to the bottom. Which means that this aerial socket is acting as some sort of switch. Uh, now, what it's switching, I cannot imagine. Um, it can't be there to just tell the set that there's aerial plugged in. Um, so, I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like that before anyway. Now, of course, the most sensible thing to do would be just change this, this satellite and TV tune. Um, you can buy these on their own um, for this model. That's the part number BN400342A. Um, but here, we don't always do sensible. Uh, so what I'm going to do is have a go at re-soldering that back in. Um, but anyway, I just thought you'd like to see that. I've never seen anything in an aerial socket that acts as a switch. Uh, it's something new. It's there for a reason. I've no idea what. Uh, the two contacts in there where the these two wires go, um, I've actually measured them. Uh, and there, there's a resistance of 10k between these two wires. So they don't... Um, there's definitely something in there that that's switching. Alright guys and girls on YouTube, I thought you'd like to see that because I know people like to see things that are a bit different. Yeah, that's a better view of it now. So, uh, okay then, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching, goodbye.